Yeah, I know. I know it's turned off. Be launching. Come on. There we go. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Diablo 1. Uh, most people... Let me double check my audio. Oh, there's an update. I'll get it later. Let's see if my audio is alright. I'll turn it down a little bit more. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is Diablo 1. Most people who have played the Diablo franchise have played Diablo 2 or Diablo 3. Very few in my experience have played Diablo 1. And because of uh, the upcoming expansion in a few weeks uh, for Diablo 3... Um, Reaper of Souls. Uh, I thought I would do sort of a retrospective uh, let's play of Diablo 1. I don't know if I'll keep up with this video series. I typically don't. But, uh... This is quite loud. Uh, but, uh... You know, I'll, I'll do my best. I, I, I at the very least... Oh, that's why it's so loud. I, I at the very least want to, uh... To give people sort of like an idea of what the game was like. This is Diablo uh, version 1.0. No patches. Uh... I probably should patch it. I was wondering why I couldn't I couldn't connect to Battle.net. Um, and uh, I'm guessing it's because I haven't patched the game yet. Oh well, I'll play the vanilla game. I don't care so much. Uh, this is how I remember it at the very least. And I'm sorry if you hear my dog barking in the background. She is going insane. I don't know why. Anyhow, this is Diablo 1. Uh, it's very much like Diablo 2 and Torchlight 1 mixed together a little bit. Uh... It's a weird little game. It's if you were if you're coming from Diablo 2, this isn't the experience you're gonna get. This is my test character I was playing. Um, and by the way, if it, I'm sorry if the game runs a little weird, I'm running it in the virtual box uh, because it doesn't support windowed mode, and I want to be able to play it in windowed mode uh, because <laughs> it doesn't look very good in one full screen, in my opinion. On on. It, it just doesn't. Um, anyway, so I'm running in a window of virtual box, so I'm sorry if it runs a little laggy. So, you have three classes in Diablo 1 as opposed to the, like, six or so in Diablo 2 and the uh, the five in vanilla Diablo 3. Um, you know, the warrior, the rogue, and the sorcerer. I'm just going to ignore the warrior and the rogue. Um, as far as I'm concerned, they do not exist as classes in this game. Uh, and the reason why I say this is because of the way skills work in this game. Um, there's no skill tree, uh, like Diablo 2. There's no skills really like Diablo 3. The way skills work in this game is you will find a book. The book has a spell, so you'll find, like, the Book of Holy, for instance, or the Book of Teleportation, those sorts of things. And, uh, and by the way, I, I, if I, 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 I'm recalling this off the top of my head. I haven't played the game in, like, 15 years, something like that. So, I'm trying to remember this off the top of my head, but to my knowledge... Um, all of these spells require intelligence, or magic in this game as they call it, magic. They require a certain magic check to learn the skill. So you'll be playing a warrior, you'll be putting all your skill points in strength, and then get all these spell books that you can't learn because you don't meet the magic check. And the same for rogue, same applies for rogue. Rogue have it a little bit better because they have 15 magic, but then you go to sorcerer who has 35 magic. So you basically play a warrior and rogue, and congrats, you are auto auto attacking throughout the game, or using a few cheapo magic or a few cheapo spells that you've been able to equip because of your gear. You know your gear having magic on it. So uh, I don't enjoy playing rogue or warrior in this game. I pretty much strictly played a sorcerer when I played this game, you know, 15 or so years ago. So yeah, so I will be playing a sorcerer in this game, and you'll see what I mean uh, when it comes to the spells, but. Uh, it, the big downside was if you wanted to play a warrior or a rogue, you had to sacrifice your primary stat in order to get your magic up to use a very limited number of spells. And spells in this game are shared. So it's not like, you know, there's warrior specific spells or rogue specific spells. There are global spells that you just learn from reading this book. So I'm playing a sorcerer and I'll just name myself Kunik. There we go. And uh, loading times in this game aren't so great. Um, I mean, this is a virtual box, but even if I was running this on my hardware naturally, it wouldn't, wouldn't go so fast. So here we go. Rooster music. My mouse is quite laggy. Probably because I'm streaming. Oh, well. 
Here we go, Deckard Kane. You aren't saving him or anything for the first Hello, time. My friend. The very first game. So he actually does listen. identify your items, just like in Diablo 2. You can also talk to him for gossip. The and I'm not going to do that, but uh, the game was really big on was really big on gossip. So you have all these characters around. This is the local drunk. So you see uh, what's his name? Barnham the, the drunk. Peace? And he's uh, he talks very funny. Um, so it, it, it was. Why don't that old crone... As opposed to like Diablo 2 and Diablo 3, I'm actually compelled in this game to listen to the gossip because it's interesting dialogue, and you get you know background behind background for the lore. There's no real forced uh, dialogue in this game. Uh, in Diablo 2, for instance, you're going through Act 1, then Act 2, then Act 3, then Act 4, and then Act 5. Um, there's cutscenes, all of that. That doesn't exist in here. Uh, you are basically going down 15 floors, somewhere around that area, descending into the depths of hell, and killing Diablo. And there's no cutscenes outside of the opening cinematic and the exit. Uh, so in order to get an idea of what's happening, you need to talk to the characters. Very old school logic, but uh, that's how it works. So you have started with 100 gold. What can I do for you? Um, this is the primary sort of purchasing shop for basic items. Uh, if you played Diablo 3, uh, What's-Her-Face, um, the mother of Leia, is actually in this game. Or Leia. And she's over here in the witch's house. A little bit of a trek to get over here. There's no running, sadly, but uh, this is where she is. Adria. Adria. I sense a soul in search of answers. And it sounds like she has a different voice actress. But you can talk to her, you can buy or sell items or recharge staves. Uh, so, uh, a big thing, a big way that you would get a spell on a warrior, for instance, or a. Uh, or the uh, other class, whatever it's called, ranger, whatever. Uh, the big way you would get a spell on them is you would pick up an item that says, it casts this on hit, and it has this many charges, and you would come back to her to have her refill the charges. We're gonna buy an item, see what she has. So, potion of mana, potion, potion, potions. Scroll of identity. Okay, so. Uh, as I said, you have books, which is how you learn spells, but there's also consumable versions of spells, if you can't find the book. So you have the Scroll of Lightning. This would be, uh, go on your belt down here. Uh, you would cast it. You would hit, you know, hit, like, number one, if that's where your Scroll of Lightning was. And it would cast the Scroll of Lightning, or it would cast the spell. Uh, it consumes it, just like a potion. And it was sort of a, just a consumable way of using a spell without, uh... Without actually, uh without actually learning it. So you have the scroll of phasing here, which I believe is a randomized teleport. I forget, there's there's a skill in this game which is basically just a randomized teleport. <laughs> and I remember the first time I killed Diablo, I just, in this game, like the very first time I ever played this game, I had it, and I would just spam it a whole bunch because I couldn't figure out how to get into the Diablo's chamber. So uh, I didn't have teleport, so I would spam the phasing until I got into his chamber and then kill him. It was really, really weird. So she has all these, and then we have the fine staff of swiftness. So, um, to hit, plus 6% uh, to your per, uh, to hit, plus 49% damage. Um, these aren't based on your current weapons, this is just based on your flat stats. Um, there is no item comparing in this game. Fast attack, damage 4 to 8, dur uh, durability 35-35. No required attribute, so this can be used by anyone, but as you can see, Scroll of Stone Curse requires 33 magic. Um, Sorcerer already, you know, already hits that. My magic's 35, so I can already do that. Um, if I was, uh, you know, any of the other classes, I wouldn't be able to meet that, that check. I'm going to save my game. And run back to town. Uh, they don't give you any armor. They give you 100 gold. Um, your, your gold is actually stored right here. You can drop, drop it on the ground. And when you die, I believe your entire inventory uh, drops on the ground as well, just like in Diablo 2. And you, you get a hundred gold. I'm gonna buy a helmet and chest piece from Griswold. Wow, what can I do? For and he you? has basic and premium items. Premium items are all like uh, really specialized items. If you're lucky, when you start out the game, you'll find something really cheap in here, like under hundred gold that you can buy. Nice way to start off the game. Um, if it's red, that you, you can't use it because you don't meet the uh, the requirements of so 16 or 18 strength. I don't meet that requirement, but I could use this because it doesn't have a requirement. So then we have uh, the basic items, and you go down, whole list of items, and let's go up to the top. And I want to buy, I could buy a cape, and there's no uh, no helmet piece, sadly, so this is what I'll have to stick with. 
uh, flip it. And sorry if I keep opening the menu like this. Uh, I'm trying to hit escape to back out of the uh, inventory screen. And you actually just have to tap the I key again to do that. Thank you. So some lore and uh, more lore over here. Good day. How may I serve you? And um, if you played Diablo 2, you remember you had to get Wart's leg. If you ever wondered where that came from, there is a little dude up here named Wart. And he is the gambler. He will give you something random. Like, he'll, he'll say, I'll sell you this for X amount of gold. And you get it. Wart, the one, the peg leg boy. Over here. And so he says, what have you got? Let's see. For 50 gold, he'll give me, uh, just, just to take a look. But it'll cost 50 gold to t just to take a look. Uh, I I only have 90 gold. Chances are I can't buy whatever he has. But this was this was gambling to the extreme. So you would play, you know, Diablo 2. There's the gambler. You get to see what he has. You, you could buy an unidentified, you know, yellow amulet, and you'd be done with it. With for wart, it would basically only be what he what he has. He only has like one thing that he sells at any given time, if I recall correctly. Talk with this dude. Please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus. He led us down here to find the lost prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead. Killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us! Find this Butcher and slay him, so that our souls may finally rest. Alright, the Butcher, if you recall, he is sort of like a wrestler in Diablo 3. Uh, and here he is way more menacing, uh, put it lightly. Uh, Diablo 1 is more of a horror game than Diablo 2. Um, the sanctity of this place has been fouled. This is very much a horror game compared to Diablo 2. Uh, you'll just, you'll, you'll understand later on, but uh, it definitely feels more like a horror game. So the problem with starting with a sorcerer, there is a, a downside to do it. It's not, you know, the be-all end-all of the game. But it's that you're very, very squishy. And things will hit you. If I was a, uh, a warrior, everything in these first few ones would be a complete joke to me. But as it is, I'm getting hit pretty hard, and I don't have any potions. So I need to find... Uh, I need to find a spell book pretty soon to use. Um, or some potions. Now... You might have noticed... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Skeletons in here. There is no alt key. You can't hold down the alt key to reveal anything that drops on the ground, so you just sort of have to sort of visualize and see it, and then mouse over it. Um, oh. Yeah. Save some more. I don't believe F5 works. Nah, it doesn't work. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. And my armor is almost broken. Oh, I'm probably gonna die. Or not. I probably should have bought... ...some potions. <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna die. That's... that's... I'm gonna die. Time to exit! So, yeah, we're very much a glass cannon, um... And, uh, don't... ...attack the barrels, because there's a good chance that there's a zombie in them, or they will explode. And the explosion does a lot of damage, so... Yeah. We're gonna walk back to town. This is very much a slower-paced game than Diablo 2 II or 3. Um, lots of walking. Uh, no running. There, uh, Eventually, there are shortcuts opened up. So, you know, you have to climb down 15 floors. But eventually, a shortcut will open up where... Um, you know, it, 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 you immediately go to, like, floor 5 Hello, or something like that. Who do I talk to to heal me? Is this dude up here? Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising uh, Sun. What? Oh, what can I do for you? Uh, I need to repair, but let's let's buy cape, cape, rags, leather armor. I want the leather armor, but I might switch over to a dagger and shield, just so I have some extra armor. I can equip those. And I'll do that till I find a spell. Um, I need to repair, though. 
And I need to find Whoa, a way to get myself some HP you? back. Not what I wanted to do. Error. This has charges? Wait, what? Wait a second. This actually had a skill? It, it just default didn't put the skill there, but I do have a skill. Well, I feel like a dumbass. I forgot that he did that. Okay, here we go. Here's the cleric. Heal me. I'm glad I caught up to you in time. What ails you, my friend? He's healing. Okay, let's see what he has. Some potions. I will buy one potion. Let me drag it to my one slot. Alright, I should be in good shape now. Um, there is no gear swapping, so I can't have the sword and shield that I have just bought, which are now useless, uh, equipped. Man, I really should have looked. I was... I was thinking there was something off. I shouldn't have been having such an issue with the game, but, uh... Yep, there you go. Now, I do want to point out, there is no difficulty in this game. You don't have Nightmare or Hell Mode or anything like that. This... Let's try it out. Works. Okay, that wasn't so good. Um... That was pretty good. You don't have very many charges of those, so I should probably be saving. Hey, got him still. Got another kill. Oh, and another kill. Pretty cool. Three kills for that. That was a pretty good charge. I thought that was going to be a waste. Fuck you, zombie. And things are dropping. Roll of identification. I don't believe there are town portal scrolls in this game. If I recall off the top of my head, I don't think they exist. Get a falchion here. Use that. So we have a scroll of identify and a scroll of identify. There is no stacking. There is no book. I will throw these at the end over here. Go down here. We do have the auto map. Uh, I actually quite like the look of the auto map in this game. I think it looks a lot better than it did in Diablo 2. Oh, I got a kill. Money there. This is a very visual game. You can't just hold Alt and, you know, see everything, or... Oh. There's a trap in that one. You can't just hold Alt and, uh, see everything. You gotta pay attention. Let a barrel. See what happens. Nothing. Hi, okay. damn you. Okay. Alright, let me spend some skill points. We have magic, and I don't think there's any way to tell what they do. Um, I think I'm passing the magic check at the moment pretty well, so I'm going to do 5 points in a bit. I'm going to get some HP. Yeah. Oh, what did I just do? No! What did I just do? Damn it. <laughs> I am back here. Uh, well, you know what? This is before I spent all that money. This is pretty good, actually. I can work with this. What's this? I have a recharge skill! That is also good to know. How do I use that? Is that just a scroll? Fireball spell? I have... Okay! I can work with this. I've learned so much. <laughs> it has been... As I said, 15 years since I played this game. Roughly, give or take. Um, so I'm quite rusty. So if I recall, the advantage of a uh, charge is just that it doesn't consume your mana. So I think that's the big advantage. So, looks like six or five bit gave me six life. From before. I remember I was at 36 and now I'm at 30. Not enough mana. Right. Oh. Oh, 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 that's not good. Any 
need to level up. How close am I? Pretty close. There we go. Drop all my scrolls of identification over here. And I'm thinking, let's see what magic does. So, I'll increase my mana, I know that much. It looks like that's all it does. Okay, I'll go back into a bit. Save. Okay. I don't want to make that mistake again. I'm probably going to be saving pretty frequently at the moment. So I get used to the controls again. Okay. Anything drop? Oh, potion of mana? this way. So much like Diablo 2, all the dungeons here were uh, randomly generated, but because they are only dungeons and not an outside area, it's significantly less sophisticated. But I think it's still more sophisticated than Diablo 3's, which there's randomization, but there's not that much. So one of the downsides of this game is there's no quick way to switch skills, so you have to go back in here and, and do this manually every time. At least I don't think there is. I don't have any control settings, so I don't know. Looks like the, uh... Oh, some mana down here. Looks like the, uh, the stairs to the second floor are right next to the entrance. That's something that can definitely happen here. That is a lot of barrels. <laughs> Scroll of healing, that's pretty good. So let's see. This, I, I believe the uh, there's no quiver in this game, so you don't have to worry about arrows, I believe. I believe, I believe that's how it works. Alright. Going here. Lots of enemies. barrels in here. No! Oh, and that got me killed. <laughs> alright. So, alright, so I, I guess I have to load my previous game, which I just saved, so that's good. I guess. <laughs> alright, well, no, let me just heal myself. Alright. Oh, a helmet. I need that. So as you can tell, this is a very slow game by comparison. Oh, I think... Does this help if I turn it up? Oh, it does. I thought the game was just abnormally dark. This helps out a little bit. That's, that's too bright. Let's go down a little bit. That's pretty good. Die, damn you! Well, do I have the helmet equipped? Oh. All right, let's save and try to blow up some barrels. Does that kill me? No, but it kills him. Cool. What else dropped? So we got some money over here. Go. Can I go down there? Oh, I gotta blow up some more barrels. And can I go there yet? All right. So, from what I'm recalling right now, every uh, class has sort of an innate ability, and, and the Sorcerer's is a Staff Recharge skill, which would be really good. Really good when I start running out of uh, charges, which will be pretty soon. In fact, how many do I have left? Fifteen? Alright. Doing pretty good still. 
potion of mana. I really want some potions of healing. Uh, or a scroll of healing. Oh, 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 oh. I'm just going to spam everything because I can recharge it in a second. Pretty close to level. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to hit that. That was a bit of a panic spam. It looks like my helmet is starting to take damage as well. Let's, uh... Let us build the charges on that. Ah, so there is a downside to it. The maximum charges have gone down from 47 to 27. Or 40 to 27. So there is a bit of a downside. Um, but whatever. If it saves me from having to run out right now. I'm all for it. Like that. The saber. What's in here? I'm really sad this far. I've not seen uh, any bookshelves, which I need spells. So I really need those. It'll be right here. I mean, there, there's usually one per floor, so it's. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, <laughs> and uh, charge bolts pretty good for just massively aoeing a whole bunch of mobs. Drops. Got a short sword over here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So we have some stuff to spend. Let's get our magic up to thir or uh, 40. And we'll go up to 25 bits. And... I guess I can't do that, so let me save before I blow those up. Ow. Okay. Let me just load. Because <laughs> that was a pointless uh, effort. There's nothing that dropped out of them. I can't go down there. Alright, so we are going to probably run back to town. I've made some money. And I can maybe buy something decent now. Um, yeah, and I need to repair... My chest has apparently broken completely. Uh, I forgot that that was a mechanic, that uh, when something completely breaks, it is out of your inventory. That sucks, um, but that was a really cheap chest anyhow, so it's not a big deal. I'm going to clear out this room up here, and then we're going to go back to town. The chest here, and motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Alright. Dead. Here. Oh. So if I recall, the Butcher is on floor 5, so we do have quite a ways to, to get to him in, in quite a few levels as well. Um, I'm going to equip Charge Bolt and just spam the crap out of it into this room. I think I want to get... An, I want to keep this staff, if only because I know that later on there are some rooms with just a metric ton of enemies. And I want to be able to clear them. Uh, so I might keep this staff and refill it at Adrian and see what uh, happens. So we, we have a bookshelf here. Well, not really a bookshelf, but we did get a, uh, a book of fireball, a firebolt, which I believe I'm currently already using. Yeah. Oh, there are spell levels. I thought there was no spell levels. So I'm guessing the way levels work is uh, by learning the spell again, it levels up. So yeah, spell level three. Okay. So I didn't know that. Uh, I thought that I forgot that there were even spell levels. So that's good. So I got an upgraded one. I got a short staff that needs to be identified. Some gold. What else did we get? A charged bolt staff. Very good. Um, let's see what we have. So, staff of charged bolt. 67 charges. Uh, and I believe it has more... It's got more durability to it, so that's good. Let's see what this has, though. A quick attack. I don't know if I care too much about that. What does that do? Let's see. Doesn't it doesn't even really say, so I'll be using this staff for the charge bolt. Back to fireball. 
And I'm going to go back to town and sell things. See if I can purchase anything as well. Oh my god, there's still more to explore. Yay. Probably looks like just one room. Nope. When in doubt, just, enough mana. just spam. I cannot carry any more. What's this? A short bow, which I don't care about. And, oh. A magic short bow. Where is that? Right here. You can tell they're magic because the tint of the letters is slightly bluer. Uh, it's very, very light, but you can notice it. This uh, area is a lot bigger than I thought it would have been. Didn't expect it to be this big. What's in here? Looks like nothing. Oh yeah, finally full full healing. Oh man. That is getting moved to the end of my bar. For emergencies. Alright. So finally we have hit the end. Let me just explode these barrels, see what happens. Not enough mana. Fuck you. Fuck you. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. This is like a game of minesweep right now. What happened? Oh, die, 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 die. Yes, okay. <laughs> Alright. And back to town we go. I did not intend to go in here, but this is one of the gold rooms in the game. So periodically you'd go into a room with just a ton of gold on the ground. Just a whole bunch of gold pieces to pick up. And my... Oh, there's some more gold in here. So, oh, is there more gold? Wow. It's very hard to see this sometimes. You can just, you can easily miss something important. So you newer players from Diablo 2 and Diablo 3, savor your ult key. Uh, because it, it, it's something I uh, didn't have back then. Oh, there's something else I was missing down here? Or just some barrels? Alright, let's go back out. My uh, recording is still going on. It is. Very cool. Alright. What level are we? Three. Okay. Pretty good. Going on uh, almost... Looks like halfway to four now. I forget what the level cap is. I don't want to... I want to say it's not very high. Or if it is high, it's like... You only need to be like level 20 or so to beat the game. Please, I'm glad I please heal me. Please... What ails you, my friend? Kill me. Alright, I might buy some potions from him in a second once I see what this other guy has to sell. Do I have anything that needs to be identifying? Yes, I do. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Oh, it costs money to identify? F that. <laughs> oh, no thanks. Well, what can I do for you? Alright, let's see what he has. So, Rag of Thorns? can't buy any of these, but, well, I can buy that, or I can buy the club, which I don't care about. This is tempting, but the durability is 6, which means it'll break all the time, so we're not going to get that. To give you an idea, our cape had a durability of 12, and that is about to break as well. Or it already did break completely off. So I'm thinking, um... Leather armor for the durability. Yeah, I'm thinking leather armor for the durability. So let me sell what I don't need. Oh, I need to identify that. Let me use a scroll on that. Can I not sell these? Wow, what can I do for you? Oh, five fifty, nice. But uh, it looks like I can't sell these two, which I'm guessing means I need to sell them to Adria because they are, uh, they are spell-based. Uh, 
I see if that was a correct theory. Indeed it was. So, uh, very old school in this sense that you can only sell magical based items to the magic, you know, dealer. And you can only, you know, purchase them from the magic dealer and, and, and the same goes for the other uh, stuff as well. So let's see what she has to buy. If you're lucky, sometimes she will have a book. We have a Book of Charge Bolt. I'm tempted to get that so I don't have to rely 100% on the... 100% um, on the... Uh, what's that word I'm looking for? The 100% on the charges. Um, the charges are nice, but I would much rather have a, a reliable skill. It's tempted to get this, but I don't want to spend my money right now on it. Um, nothing to do that on. Alright, I'm going to go and buy some potions. I'll keep my mana potions on reserve back here. I'm gonna buy two health potions. That should be good for a while. Oh, I need to, to refill my mana. But I don't think she'll do that, will she? I sense a soul in search no. of answers. Right. Well, I'll stick with the charge bolt then for a while. So, let me buy that armor, and I'll probably buy the hel a helmet. And... Uh, have him repair everything of mine and then uh, be on my way. Now, if I recall, when you have him repair something, it does lose maximum durability, uh, oh, I think. What can I do for or you? the warrior's ability is a repair, and that causes it to lose maximum durability. And I figure what the third uh, character's skill is. Um, I might create a new character just to see. I'm curious now, because I remembered what the warrior one is. Uh, let's see. Repair. So cap passes durability of 15. This is one of 25. And this is more important to me. What is this durability now? 25. So yeah, okay. So Whoa, that was... What can I do for you? All right, so that's what the warrior has. So let's see. I've got a decent amount of money I can buy stuff with. I could buy... I don't need the cloak of strength. Uh, cape of light. A light radius increases in half bad, actually. But the armor isn't so good. So strong rags, that's a lot of armor. But the durability again is just, isn't something I really like too much. I'm gonna go with the leather armor. It's more it's, it's a lot of armor. And it's a lot of durability, I think it's it's a better value. And it looks like he's not doesn't have any more helmets, so let me have him repair my current cap. And I'll just equip this and save. And I want to go and create a new game with uh, with the other class, just the rogue, just to see what their ability is. I'm very curious now. So like I said, the warrior is, is to repair gear, the mage is to repair uh, charges. What is her ability? Trap Disarm. Probably the least useful skill in the game. But uh, I could see it being useful uh, if you wanted to open up some barrels and not risk having them explode on you. That would be pretty good, I guess. But, uh, yeah, and I can't load a game. And I can't... How do we get back to the main menu? Cancel. There we go, okay. So let me delete that. And we're going to play on Kunik again. Okay. We're doing pretty good. I need to buy some potions before I head out. What ails you, my friend? <sighs> Divination. That might not be so bad. A scroll of healing isn't so bad either. Buy some potions of healing. All right, and off we are. So if you're keeping track of the layout of this place, um, here's Griswold's shop. And in Di Diablo 3, you fight the wretching witch person over here. And the waypoint is over here. And you enter from over here. And in uh, Diablo 3, there's a gate right here that leads somewhere. Um, no gate here. Um, that we have up here and uh what's, what's over here I, I believe the cows are over here this is an entrance uh, shortcut later on you'll get 
and there are cows. Yeah, here we go. This is where the infamous uh, cow level came, idea came from because you can actually mouse over them and they say moo and people thought, you know, there has to be a reason for this to be here. So the idea of a cow level was created. Down into the dungeon, and we're going to floor two. Which conveniently is right here. We're going to save. Like I said, I believe uh, Butcher's on floor three. And look, we have we can get to floor three right now. I'll switch over to the potion. We can get to it right now. Um, this happens a lot. They, they sort of tempt you to go, you know, take these shortcuts, but it's really bad. You want to level up because the Butcher hits really hard. You need to be able to survive his hits. This wasn't like, uh, you know, in, in the modern game, you know, he has all those skills you can dodge and the floor lights up on fire and, you know, all that. Uh, no, he just runs up to you and hits you really, really hard. And being a sorcerer means we're going to take a lot of damage from that. So it's, it's really a tempting thing to do, but also later on in the game, when you it's it's nice for um, for quickly back getting back up to floor one. Because again, I don't believe uh, I don't believe a town portal scroll exists in this game yet. Um, don't quote me on that. I don't think it does though. Um, just given the fact that I've yet to see a town portal scroll or anything along those uh, those lines. We leveled up and. Taking five more points into vit. Again, I want to be tanky enough for the uh, the butcher. I don't want to use up all my charges. I might need them, so we're gonna go back to fireball. Anything else over here? Lots of uh, just sort of mousing over everything. Because you might see something you didn't see before. So here we go. Here's a unique mob. You can tell because he has a different color of everything. And then you mouse over him and you see his differences. He is magic resistant. Let's bring him out to the open. Come on, buddy. I don't want to run in there. I'll do it. The, oh! Uh, okay. And no immunities, okay. So this is incredibly inefficient, and the AI seems to have broken. I'm okay with this. Let me just go whack him a little bit. You're gonna die. Let's see what this does. It's the scroll I just picked up. Oh, that caused the game to lag and didn't kill him. Alright. Come on out. Die! Okay. What did he drop? A book of holy. How many charges did I use on him? Not too many, okay. We got a new skill. Damage is undead only. Uh, considering most of our enemies here are undead at the moment, that's pretty good. Let's see, undead. And boom. That's nice. Motherfucker. But it, it won't damage the Fiend, I believe, because he's not undead. It will go through the Fiend. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, there's a lot of enemies in that room. I'm just gonna save. A lot of enemies in that room. I need to kite them out somehow. I'm not certain what I should be doing right now. I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna unequip this and go back to Fireball so I can hit the, uh, the damn bats. A dark passage. Let's go in there. This isn't floor three, this is something else. So hopefully I'm rewarded for this. Not enough mana. Charges. Some got hit down here. Yes, sword that needs to be identified. Hmm. Well, what's this? Nope. Oh! Oh! Oh, that is tanky. Alright. Didn't expect it to be that tanky. I might need to go just buy a boatload of potions. Yeah, I, th I think I need to go buy more potions to deal with this place, but... First, let me equip Fireball and see what happens when I do this. I miss everything. Okay, cool. Oh, oh. I just can't kill this guy. Alright, well, we're going back to... We're going to back out of here for now. Something over here? Alright, no. Alright. We're back out of there. We're gonna clear out this floor and then, um. I'm gonna try to clear out this floor at the very least and then, uh. Oh! Oh! Good. Good, good, good. This is one of. Oh! No wonder that room was so heavily fortified. It's got a bookshelf in it. Alright, well, it looks like I have to retreat back up uh, topside and pick up a whole bunch of potions. But I could see what's over to this room over here. Looks like it's connected. Why is it in dying? Let's see what's in here. A book of telekinesis. Very nice. So what does that do? 
Oh, is this my teleport? Not enough mana. Oh, mana. Okay, hold up. I need to look up what this does. Oh, that's cool. Alright, so what it can do is it can be used to pick up items from afar and um, if there's an enemy there, it can knock them back. So basically, I can use it to safely secure things from a distance. That's pretty cool. Let's heal up and just buy a boatload of potions. What ails you, my friend? Alright, that looks pretty good. We'll have Kane Hello, identify my, my item. Stay a while and listen. And go and sell it. Oh, what can I do for you? So we have a hunter's bow. We're in quality. Okay. What does he have we can buy? Cloak of strength, which I don't need. Da, da, da. Oh, cap of health. It's not so bad. I might take that uh, once I see what he has in his normal stock. He's got a skull cap. I am actually liking that cap of health. So that's what I'm going to, uh, to get. Oh, what can I do for you? Now you'll notice that only uh, items in my inventory and not equipped will show up. That's nice so you don't accidentally buy something, or sell something, uh, because this is more, um, more interface-driven, like a, a console game. Uh, that's, that was pretty good. Adria. I sense a soul in search of answers. Yeah. Refill the charges. Alright. Let's see. Oh, there is a town portal. Okay. Let me see if there's a book of town portal. Again, it's, I, I'm trying to recall things off the top of my head from many, many years ago. And, uh, of course, I'm not going to remember everything. But ideally, I would like to find, like, a staff of a town portal, but I'll buy a scroll right now. I'll buy, actually, two scrolls to be on the safe side. So I'll keep those in my inventory. Over, uh, over here. And I think I I'm going to use the rest of my money to buy some potions. Of um. I'm thinking this looks alright. I should be good for potions on this, I think. Um, of course, I do have a little bit more money. I could buy five more potions of mana, but I think I'm pretty good for now. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty set uh, for the moment. I don't know if I can kill that uh, the goatman, but I can sur sure as hell try now with a whole bunch of potions. And that's how this game sort of works when you're tanking. It's just you fill this bar with potions, you open up your inventory, right-click your mana potion, then that's how you heal. Or that's how you get your mana back, things like that. So, 
Alright. We're going to try to take on that room full of skeletons and get wh whatever was on that uh, book rack because I want to see what was on it. Right, save. Now, I can't stress how much of a slower paced game this is than Diablo 2. I'm only on the second floor here and it's been like an hour, something like that. Uh, it's a very, very slow paced game um, by comparison. Hey, sweet. I'm going to magic. Did a helmet just drop? Die, damn you! All right, I'm gonna stop using charges and use a holy spell. Because I think there's only skeleton archers left, and I can kill them with the holy spell. And I killed one. Dropped a potion or something. Look what they have. Alright. Some money right here. Money right here. A scroll of inferno right there. Here we go, jackpot of a lot of stuff. Town portal, very nice. Let's see what our book is. These bookcases, from what I recall, always drop a book. Um, these little stands right here have a chance of dropping a book, but like nine times out of ten, just drop a, uh, a scroll of some sort. Here we go, a book, book of firebolt, so we'll get that up again. Uh, scroll of identification. And what's this? Hey, another book, very nice. Holy bolt. So we got level two holy now. Um, oh, there, so Holy Bolt, oh, uh, healing, oh, a book of healing, very nice. This is very much the bread and butter of a, uh, of a, a spellcaster in this game. Basically, I could just go here, book of healing, boom, heal myself back up, it costs a lot of mana, but I don't need these healing potions, now. I could, I should probably just TP back to town and, and honestly just sell them all at this point. Um, but no, I'll keep them for now, they could be useful, and we'll just get our mana back up. Yeah, I mean, I can honestly, at this point, because I don't have to buy potions because of that, and I'll, I'll, by the way, a lot of the spell finding in this game is 100% RNG. Uh, that was where the fun of this game came out of, in my opinion, was finding these bookshelves and getting the RNG spells, but, I mean, it's all RNG based, so it's, I found it to be really, really fun to, uh, to just get these random spells sometimes. And it really dictated how you were going to play your character. Drop some wags. I do wish uh, this chain lightning would hit, or whatever it's, it's called again, uh, would hit these barrels. That'd be quite nice, but it, it, it sadly doesn't. So I'm going to clear this place out and then go down to that one uh, cellar place. And hopefully I will have leveled up to 6 by then. I'm pretty close to 6. About 500 XP away, so hopefully that'll be the case. Is this the Butcher? I thought he was on floor 5. I'm really forgetting things. This, this is the Butcher. Alright, it looks like I will not be clearing this place out. I need as much XP as I can possibly get before fighting this guy. Let's level up. Alright, so money, money, money. Dropped a weapon of some sort. Did I pick it up? I don't think I did. Maybe I did. The mouse over a little bit till I find it. Maybe he did. Did he? Um, just some more. Oh, 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 oh! There we go. Spike club. All right. We'll level up. We're gonna go into here. Save. You know, we'll give Butcher a shot. Clear out the rest of this place first. 
rejuvenation potion. Um, I want quick access to some of my potions here, so that's what I'm going to do. Let's clear this place out. And I really thought the butcher was on floor 5. It's just been so long since I've played this game. Oh, hey, cool, another elite. And ran out of charges on that. That's alright, though. We got holy. I don't believe the butcher is considered an undead, so I can't use that on him. That's all right. Because we have a level three, I believe, level four firebolt, so we're pretty good, pretty good shape right there with that spell. Almost done exploring this place, I think. Oh, full healing, very nice. Save. Money room. I'll switch over to holy for this room. This him. Alright. Looks like there's a scroll in here as well. What is that a scroll of? Identification. And some mana potions, nice. I love these rooms. They always have like a really good feeling to them. Like a kid in a candy store when you go in one of them. Alright. I got this room. I believe it is... I got this room down here to check. And then I got this room up here and I think that's it. Oh, what am I thinking? That doesn't look bad. Uh, looks like that's it for this room. We're in good shape for the butcher. Um, I'm gonna give myself access to two. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. To two full heals, uh, just to be on the safe side, and access to, to basically two monos and a half mono with the, the reju potion. I don't want to hit any of these barrels by accident. All right, let's see what's down here. Absolutely nothing. Looks like there was something down here as well. I will check that out after the butcher. And let's save. <sighs> Fresh meat. Alright. Oh my god, was that out of potions? Holy crap. I thought... I thought I had enough potions equipped. Apparently, the Butcher did not agree. Alright. What can I do differently? <sighs> hmm. More potions? Question mark? I don't think I needed, uh, the mana potions as much. Huh. Try Inferno. Fresh meat. Am 
might have to go back to town. Alright, let me see what, uh... What's in that room down there? Let me try to kill that, that one for the cellar, and then I'll go back to town. Down here. enemies in there. We're gonna falchion. Uh, I don't know how to say that word. Um, what else is talking? My, cat, my dog's going insane again. Oh, 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 oh. More zombie archers. More skeleton archers. in this room. Oh. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Alright, looks like this place is pretty much cleared out. We have the cellar to go to. How, much, how am I doing on money, anyhow? Pretty good, I've got that back up. I uh, was at about 2,000 before. Alright. We're gonna save. Uh, now we'll save. I got a lot of scrolls of stuff in here. Uh, yeah, lots of scrolls of stuff. All right. Go in. Try to give this place a shot again. The level four. Uh, what is this again? Firebolt. Doing pretty good, I think. It was level three the last time we were here. Hey, we managed to kill one. Cool. Alright, uh, room is cleared. So this is the poisoned water supply. You may have noticed the well in the city, or the town of Tristram, was uh, actually yellow, it wasn't blue. So I believe when we're done clearing this, it creates a shortcut to this floor, I think. I'm going overkill just trying to massacre these guys as soon as possible. Right. What are we doing? XP? Almost gonna level up again, so we should be level, was it seven? Seven before the butcher, I think. gonna spam fireball till it hits them basically. Saber. Fixed. 55 magic. Well, I thought a shortcut opened up for to get to Tristram from here, but I'm guessing not. It doesn't look like it. So I don't know how the act of slaying all these guys magically fixed the water supply, but it did. Whatever. Um, I didn't level up though, sadly. No, I did. Okay, seven. Wasn't thinking. All right. Um. I'm going to be immensely lazy and just use the town portal scroll. Because uh, I don't want to run back to town, and it's only 200 gold anyhow, so... I believe I even picked one up. Town portal... I picked up two of them. So, yeah, that's... I'm, I'm doing fine. I've got four of them right now. Oh. Let's move my window I was playing in.
place myself right about here, and then we're going to use the town portal. Where the waypoint was, so I'm guessing they did that for that specific reason. Nice callback. Alright, let's see if he can identify anything Hello, of mine. My friend. Actually, you know what? I got a Stay lot of these identification controls. I think. Da -da -da. Yep, I do. Yeah. Oh man, I have uh, still have four town portal scrolls. I don't. I have a lot less identification scrolls than I thought I did. All right. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. All right. Well, what can I do for you? So, Ken Falchion. It's hit negative 9%, so I guess this is the equivalent of the ethereal item in this game. Alright. Premium items, what does he have? Deadly Bow of the Mind. Which requires strength and dex, yet gives mind. I don't know how that makes any sense. Can't use any of those. any of those. Let me just have him pair everything. And because this is a very intensive... Oh, what? Just gives me a random ring. Okay. Okay, negative damage. That is pretty cool. I should have listened to him. That was pretty cool. Alright. So, you, my friend. thank you. Keep healing and buy some items. To our gratitude. We're gonna buy, uh... I wanna say five... No, three of these. Nope, 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 not that one. Alright, cool. So I have five uh, full heals. Which I'm gonna use in the Butcher. The last three are gonna be reserved for Mana. Have her refill my charges. I'm thinking I'm just gonna spam uh, the charge bolt. I sense on him. a soul in search of answers. Actually, before I do that, let me see what she has. Staff of swiftness. Nope, don't care. Wow, that's okay. The one I had earlier uh, was basically this one that she's now selling. Can't buy, can't buy. Alright, can't buy any of those, so let me refill stave charges and buy some uh, potions. Some mana potions, rather. Alright, that ring is going to be quite nice, though. Alright, let's take the uh, time portal back. Okay, let's butcher round four. I think this is what we're on right now. And I was going to spam my staff charges ah, on him. Fresh meat. Retreat, retreat, retreat! Okay. Okay. Round two, bitch! Oh my god. The ah. spirits of the dead are now avenged. Okay, finally, okay. 
we got this cleaver, which I think was a 100% chance to drop on him. I just invested so much money on him. <laughs> so much gold. We got this cleaver. Strength and usual item damage. Altered durability. Can't use it, I think. Or can I? Okay. But it gives strength, so why would I want to use this? F it, I'll use it. I'll try it out, see how it works. And we'll just equip Fireball. And I invested so much things on that. So many uh, potions of healing. Alright. Oh, chest here. And a club. Alright, onwards to floor three. But I think I'm going to end the video now. I need to take a bit of a break. It's been a rather lengthy part one. I'm not editing these either, so... I'll enter floor three. And... I think that, like I said, I think there's only 15 or so floors in this game, so... Yeah. Alright, uh, let me kill, like, one mob and see what happens with this fucking cleaver. Come on, bitch. If I can ever hit him, hey, it's like an insta-kill. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a slow attack, but... Not half bad. So I will, uh, let me TP back to town. And pick up some stuff. And then I will end the video. I believe I can actually... Can I use it offhand with this? I don't... I don't know. I'm gonna buy a cheap buckler and see if I can use it offhand with it. I think Whoa, I can. What can I do for you? Oh, quilted armor. That's cool. Nice upgrade. Well, it's cheaper, but... Alright, cheap buckler. Let's see what happens. Alright. Whoa! What can I do for you? So the club, so the buckler, pair cap, pair the leather armor. Um I'm not gonna have money to do anything, am I? To buy what I wanna buy. Or maybe I will. I think I should. A few items at least. I used a lot of charges on this. Yeah, nearly uh, 50, a little over 50 actually. I sense a soul in search of answers. I could buy two potions. Wow. Okay. I can almost fill the bar at least. <sighs> All right. doing this again because I do have the uh, the spell of healing now so I can just heal myself and use mana that way it's not ideal for boss fights though uh, because uh, you it's very slow to you know go back here and heal up like that so um, let me get a full heal from that dude and uh, I believe the the drunk actually has a purpose as well let me try talking to uh, Kane now that I fixed the water supply see what he says hello my friend stay a while and listen oh. I know of many myths and legends that make an I don't know. Alright, let's talk to this dude. What ails you, my friend? Right. Talk to the drunk. Can't a fellow drink in peace? Nothing. Alright. All right, let me go back to the town portal, and that'll be where I end the video. All right. 
So, thank you for watching. Um, I'm planning to... I, I want to beat this game before our list comes out, so uh, chances are I'll be doing uh, a rapid amount of videos uh, just as I sort of play through the game. Uh, so if you're interested interested to see how the game, how the original game that started out, you know, this entire series was, uh, you know, keep on watching. I'm going to do try to do commentary of everything. Um, I am getting a little sick, though, so I might, you know, might do a video without commentary. I haven't decided yet, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, thank you for watching. Um, catch you all later.